shit do you understand that i pay for groceries i pay for my rent which is it's my rent i don't ask him for i don't ask him to pay my shit i don't ask him to do shit for me i pay for everything that i pay for and i make it a big deal because he don't pay for shit you don't even have a rent i'm guessing maybe you're paying your bitch's rent i don't fucking know and i don't care but it's like you don't have shit to pay for and you still send me fifty dollars not to mention that this this nigga will like he's such a user and a manipulator like when he was here i have story times for your asses because we were just he was just up in here, y'all, about a week ago. I know, I know, I know, I know. I already know what y'all about to say. That's what I'm saying, like. It ain't nothing to be with a man like that. If you want to be with a man like Gerard, let me tell you something, ladies. Just shut your mouth. Let him cheat on you. Let him do whatever he wants to you. Um, I guess pay the bills, since that's what I was doing. And you can have him. You can have him. Like, that's that's a man like that. That's what you do to keep a man happy. Like that. Oh, and boost him up. Boost his self-ego, his self-esteem. Boost them, boost them, boost them, bitch, because he needs it. Okay. But if you don't want to do all that, then, you know. But that's, that's exactly what is going on in his relationship. And that's fine. You know what I mean? It says, do what you got to do to keep a man. But, like... <clears throat> it's just it's just like uh I just want money, bruh. I just want all the fucking money. Give me all the motherfucking money. Cuz I am. I'm tired. I'm tired as fuck. I'm tired and I'm irritated. Oh, anyway, what was I saying? He was here. Yeah, and that nigga fucking... That bitch ass had the nerve. I had $20. Oh, he's such a little sneaky little bastard. Oh, my God, man. He's such a little fucking sneaky bastard. He had the nerve to take $20 out of my wallet. He took $20 out of my wallet. Mm -hmm. Ew, and that's just how I know he he treats that bitch. Like, he must be straight living off of her. Like, straight living off of her. That's so pathetic. And then, I'm not going to get into that. But he's just a little, he's a little rat. I'm good. He's stealing. No, he didn't steal it. He was asking me for it. And I was like, no, nigga, what the fuck? Why am I going to give you $20? I don't give a fuck if you need gas money. I give a fuck less. Like, Ask that bitch. What the fuck? Ask your mama. Ask somebody. Why are you asking me for $20? But the nice, kind person that I am, I let him take the $20. But then I was thinking about it. I'm like, this nigga really took $20 from me. And he was like, I'm going to cash up it to you later. Or send it to you, sell it. Did he? No. That was part of the $50. He also took... um. From time to... No, you know what? I can't even get into that because I'm not trying to get in trouble. But um, he took something else from me and it was worth $30. But I bought that shit. I bought that shit. Me. And he took it. And he went and he used it with somebody else. And I'm just like, and you took my shit, bro? Like, and you took my shit. So you took my $20. Like, that's the shit I'm talking about. Like, you're a user. You're an abuser. And you're a user, you're an abuser. <laughs> it sounds so corny, but literally, bitch. Um, but like, I'm good. Like, that's so low down, dirty. Like, and then oh, that's why I say narcissist, like a hundred and thousand percent, because he'll sit there and try to convince you, I would never live off of a female. I would never put my hands on a female. I would never, I would never, I would never, I would never. Whole ass. He's living off a female. Whole ass, he's putting his fucking hands on me. Like, a week ago. The whores. They can all have him. I just want money. And I want him to be a good father. I want you to be a good father. Put your kids first. 
Vagina is not supposed to come before your kids. Your kids come first. I do daddy. You making it come first. Excuse me? What? How, I'm making what come first? <laughs> what are you talking about? <sighs> My, the point is not how much he took or what he took. The point is, is that he took. He took from me. Okay, the bitch that he's not helping. He's not helping me. So you're going to come over here and you're going to take more from me? And then you're going to walk around like you're King Dick up in this bitch? How? How, Sway? I don't understand it. You, you let him. You gave it to him. You right. You right. You you a hundred percent right. You a hundred percent right. And that's why. If I have to do that, if I have to match that fucking energy and I have to be a cold hearted, mean ass, using ass, unloyal, untrustworthy ass bitch to fuck with him, I'll do that. I could do that. I could do that. That's fine. Like, that's why we're not cool. We're not cool. We're not cool. I was trying to be nice to him. I'm always trying to be nice to him and look out for him. But that's fine. I already realized that. Like, I have to be more, like, aggressive and mean and just for me. For me. I'm not a selfish-ass person like that. Like, if I see him and he's doesn't have money or he doesn't have food or whatever the fuck the case may be i always try to do for him but nah fuck that shit i'm not i'm not doing that shit no more <laughs> i'm not doing that shit and that's that's just off the strength of the loyalty the type of loyal ass bitch that i am like that's off the strength that you're my you're still my kid's father i'm not gonna let you fucking be out here whatever but at this at this point, I, it, it has to be. It has to be like that because he takes advantage. You give him, you give him this much space, and he takes like that much space. So, mm -mm. I can't do that to myself. But my whole point of coming on here today was to be, was to tell you guys like, there's so many. Um, he's trying to run game on me. No, girl, he's not trying to run game on shit. He already did run game on me. He played me. He played the bitch. He played the kids. Girl, he played himself. Girl, he played everybody. And now he's right back with the bitch, I guess. I don't know. I don't know and I don't care. But I'm just saying, like, <sighs> my whole point of coming on here was because I saw some old bitches in the back. Okay, the Frankenstein ass looking hoes in the back talking shit about us strong, independent, independent. No matter where we get our money from, bitch, we get our money. We take care of our motherfucking kids with no man. Okay, um, talking shit, have the nerve to talk down on me and other women like me. So I'm here to tell you, bitch. Shut the fuck up, okay? And I'm also here to tell you guys, other women out there that are going through what I'm going through, to keep your head up. Keep your head up and stay strong. And oh, girlfriend. What are you doing? Because it is hard. It is hard. It is hard. It's extremely hard. It's extremely hard. Um, It's extremely hard. And I don't want help from other dudes. Like, I don't... Mm -mm. Like, my guy friends, they help me with what they help me with. But ain't nobody gonna do his job. That's his job. If he can't do it, then I'm gonna do it. Level up, boss up. I don't need to boss up a motherfucking thing. Because I don't think you've been listening. I pay all these fucking bills. I do. By myself. Hi, me. I keep telling myself that. Like, I feel like I'm so hard on myself because my mom kept telling me while she was here. I was like, mom, 
I was like, my life is a hot ass mess, isn't it? Like, I'm just this, like, I'm this, I'm this. Like, I go super hard on myself. And she was like, no, you're not a hot ass mess. You have, you've done good for yourself. You do good for yourself. You take care of your kids. Like, she was like, stop putting yourself down like that. Yes, you're in a situation. You will get out of this situation. But until that happens, like, I'm always so hard on myself. But, <clears throat> I don't know. I just, I just want my kids. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to fucking cry. I just, <clears throat> I want my kids to have the best. I tried to give them that, even though I was, I was, uh, not knowingly, I was making it worse for them because they were experiencing all that bullshit that was going on in the house with us. But it's like, now that whatever and it's over, it's like, why can't you put your fucking kids first? Like I am. And I'm still, I'm still the bad person. I'm still, I'm still the fucking bad person. That's fucking crazy. That's insane to me, bro. Mm -hmm. my mom had the same problem yeah I know I know I know I understand like this shit is like super hard like you know I was with him for eight years but I feel like for the last year I've been detaching from him mentally so that's why when people are like oh my god you're moving on so fast well first of all i'm not moving on i will never sit up here and be like oh i got a man his name is blah blah no i don't want no fucking man brandon is my fucking friend okay we fuck around with each other we play games we that's our dynamic if people don't understand it that's okay but we have fun together we have a lot a lot of fun and if anything, he's like one of my best friends at this point. So, but being like, oh, I'm in a relationship and we're going to be married by this. No, and we, no, 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 mm -mm. no, 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 but, but as far as like having feelings and stuff, I feel like I can have feelings for whoever I want to have feelings for at this point. What the hell? Um, you know, given what my ex has done and the fact that me and him have been, you know, coming apart slowly, but it's been happening this whole year. And it happened right after we got married. It was the weirdest fucking thing, man. But he was, he's just always, he's been, he's always been such a liar, a pathological liar. And I'm just. Like, you can't tell the truth about shit. You can't tell the truth about nothing, 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 nothing. So I understand that now <clears throat> and I see it for what it is. And that's why I don't care what he got going on like honestly i feel bad for the girl that he's with i feel really 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 bad for her i feel really bad for her i really do because y'all when i tell you <laughs> this man has already done her so fucking dirty and she stays taking him back and if that ain't some shit for that ass, I'm just like, girl, okay, sis, you did that too. I know, but I had kids with him. And it's not like that makes it any better, but we had, I had something, like we had a little bit of glue that was holding us together. You feel me? And then, you know, it grew into three little pieces of glue that was holding us together. But like I said, let her go through it.
Let her go through it. Let her be with him. Let him be with her. Because, bitch, it can't be me no more. Uh-uh. You ain't finna go fuck with her and then come back over here. Like, he really thought he was going to do that, y'all. He really thought that he was going to have me and have her and be over here some nights, be over there. Like, nigga, I don't know what the fuck got into you. The fuck? You got some... I'm telling you, and it's true, you guys. If you let a man do you dirty for so long, they just think that they can do whatever they want to you. So take it from me. Once a nigga cheats on you, sis, be out the door. Be gone. Because it's just going to get worse. And I don't want to shit on people because I know a lot of people probably in here have taken back their husband or their boyfriend or whatever and he's cheated. And maybe he's changed. Maybe he's one in a million or maybe he's that odd man, that odd man out. I can't speak on it, but I'm just saying... From my experience, bitch, I should have been out after Robin. Before Robin, bitch, okay? But I wasn't. You know what I mean? And that's my fault. And I take responsibility for that. And that's why this relationship, the failed relationship, is big partly my fault. Oh, thank you, Cynthia. Hey, love you and your family. Thank you, baby. The failed relationship part is half my fault. And I take full responsibility for that. But him not being a good parent or a caring parent, a loving parent, a attentive parent, just not putting your kids first type shit, that shit's not my fucking fault. And I'm not taking responsibility for that. And I'm not going to do that. But I am pissed about it. And I'm just like, you're not, like I keep fucking saying, I think I was saying this in Florida, like you're not going to do my kids like this. And I thought coming out here, like, I really thought he was trying to get his own place, you guys. I really thought he was, like, being a man for once of, once in his life. Once in his fucking life. I thought he was doing it. Mm -mm. <laughs> Good mother, that relationship doesn't define you. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you. Do you regret moving back? No. I don't regret moving back here. Not at all. Mm -mm. I love I love Texas. I love it out here. I love it out here. I love my apartment. I love my I love it. I don't like that he knows where I live because he's fucking he has some fucking screws loose. But other than that... Hi. I'm sorry, mommy. I gotta check the time. Here you go. I'm sorry, baby. I tried. Yeah. I love you, Liv. I love you, too. I thought he moved back for a job opportunity. No. He moved back because he was talking to that bitch. He didn't have no job opportunity out here. He had one months ago. But then... That came and passed, and he took the job in, in Florida, because that was a better job. And he took that job, and he quit that job to come out here, because he started talking to the bitch he's talking to now. Okay? That is the whole honest truth. And I didn't believe it. I remember when I was moving out here, I was talking to my homegirl on the phone, and I was like, man, he dipped. Like, he took his shit, bitch, and he dipped. And after everything, I was still there. Being like, we can work on it. Like, the day he fucking left, you guys, and I don't give a fuck. I don't care. You guys can judge me. You guys can talk shit about me. I'm a woman. I was a wife. Well, I'm still a wife, but I had a family. And everything I did, this is going to make me cry. Only because I did everything I could do <clears throat> for my kids and for my family. And this nigga... Not only did he fucking solicitate a fucking prostitute, bitch, but he started talking to the bitch that he was fucking with before we got married. So let me get this straight. Okay, this is this is the audacity of this piece of shit. When I left to go to Florida, yes, we took our little break, but we were still talking like we were together, okay? And he would come out to Florida, whatever. We would do whatever we did. But he was talking to this bitch. 
and he lied i was like bro just tell me if you had sex with her if you've been with her whatever i found pictures of her on the phone i already knew it but it's like be real damn like we're supposed to be friends more than anything just be real no couldn't do it and then some shit came out about him talking to this girl in Vegas and how he was talking to her. Oh, you guys, he's just nasty. Ew, he's nasty. Okay, so then <clears throat> I got the house and I was trying to fix the family. Okay, I'm just going to say the family because, bitch, I feel dumb saying I'm trying to fix my marriage at this point. It feels stupid of me to say that, but I was. And... He was talking to that bitch. He had, he, so my whole point was he left her to come to Florida to marry me. And then he goes back to her. So what kind of fucking female, number one, is she to take him back? And then number two, is he to do that? And then number three, me. Like, ew. Ew. Everybody is ew in the whole equation. It's just ew, 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 bitch. It's just ew. But yeah, 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 yeah. I was talking to my homegirl one day and I was like, oh yeah, he just dipped. He's never dipped on me like that, but he did, girl. She was like, oh, he got a bitch in Texas. I was like, nah. Not him. He wouldn't do that. He's not that grimy. He's grimy, but he's not that grimy. Mm -mm. Stupid old me. Giving him the benefit of the doubt and um believing what he says because he always told me this is another bullshit thing he always said he's what i'm saying he's such a fucking narcissist come here baby here take the phone oh look at that baby she's crying he's such a narcissist he would tell me all the time you guys when we were together Man, if I broke up with you, I would never be in a relationship. I would never be la la la. If I'm not going to be with you, I'm not going to be with nobody. I already knew that was bullshit. I would always tell him. Nigga, please. Ew, and what does he do? He comes here, he jumps in a relationship, and he's living with her. And I even told him, like, nigga, just off of us being homies, like, I keep saying this. I'm from LA. So it's like, nigga, just off, like, just off the real. Like, we're not fucking around. We're not nothing. But just off just being homies. Like, don't you want to fuck around? Don't you want to have fun? Don't you want to be single? Don't you want to have a life? Like, find yourself and get your shit together and have your own place. And, girl, no. Mm -mm. He wants to use that girl. He wants to use that girl up until he can't use her no more and move on to the next i guess i guess he has officially turned into mm, i'm not gonna go there i'm not gonna go there but i'm just gonna say he's turned into whatever he's turned into that's the type of person he is but i just want him to take care of his kids and i want the bitches Mm. don't understand your comment but i will block you <laughs> oh my god these bitches are funny he's a hobosexual <laughs> i never thought he would be like living off of people that's crazy how did he find out where i lived because he's crazy as fuck that's why when i first moved here I pay for movers. Yep, sure did. I pay for every motherfucking thing, bitch. Everything. 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 So, um, when I first moved here, he was like, oh, let me come. I'll help you unpack. No. So, he's such, he's so crazy. Like, he was like, I, I'm not even gonna get into it. Basically, he just found me. He found me and the truck and the kids. He found us. And he knew where I lived from there. But he is crazy, and I don't care. I don't care. Like, I don't care. He's probably going to see this live and be like, she's talking about me. She's ta she's telling the truth about me again. I sure am. Go cry. Go cry to that bitch. 
Go cry to whoever you need to cry to. When I come on here, I keep it real. And you know what he doesn't like more than anything? Being exposed for who he fucking is. Like, actually having to look at himself in the mirror and and realizing the shit that he's done. He doesn't like that shit. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you sleepy? Okay, go to sleep. Tell him you moved. No, I'm not going to tell him I moved. You just better not come over here. Don't fucking come over here. You're not welcome over here. You're not welcome. <clears throat> I already told him that. Because um, so certain females are very bitter. You know, like this whole situation. I could turn this and I can spin this and I could be like... I don't know. I could just use it and I could turn it around and blame everything on females. I could do that too. You know, more than enough of us have been fucked over by a man. And instead of channeling all that energy to a man, you know, you know what I mean? Because the men should be taking the responsibility. They're men. Okay. <laughs> like, I feel like we... It's like society and like, I don't know, like, ew, other bitches, like they just be trying to like take the heat off the men. And it's like, why are you doing that? You're making these men weaker. You're making them less accountable for their actions. It's like, it's crazy. But anyway, that's why these bitter bitches get on here talking shit. Or it'd be the other way around, like, they're females that live off of a man and they see an independent woman doing it on their own and they know they could never so then they hate on the bitch and they talk up the man that's how i felt like it was for this bitch that was talking shit today because she's obviously with a man that don't want her ass okay he could cheat on her just like the next bitch could get cheated on too so it's like, that's what my video the other day I posted. It was called Humble Yourself. Like some of these bitches need to humble themselves. You're not, never mind. Let me not go there. Let me not go there. Let me not go there. I could never. Me neither. Me neither. Mm -mm. Hi, baby. I wouldn't want my kids around that girl. She sounds weird. She does sound weird. She re she very much does. <clears throat> very much does. Sounds weird, all kinds of desperate, all kinds of... She sounds crazy, honestly. There's something wrong. Like, it, something's not ticking, bitch, because... That's weird. Like, that's weird. So no, I'm good. I don't need no more type of influence around my kids. If you're not going to be good influence, you don't need to be around my kids. <laughs> she has to be a youngster. Nope, she's older than me. She's older than me and she ain't got no kids. And that's why I'm just like, and you're chasing a married man with three kids and he ain't got no car of his own and no place of his own and you're chasing him oh sis that there's something that something's not ticking something's not ticking bitch i don't know what it is a few screws have gone loose bitch i don't know i mean i know i'm crazy i went whole ass buck wild stupid crazy for this dude i sure did a hundred percent a hundred percent but it's like once i had that first baby once i got pregnant i just i just let him get away with murder and it was wrong. It was very wrong of me to be like that. To be a weak ass person like that. I should have been stronger. Mommy. What? No. 
Nobody's at the door. Calm down. That was out there, baby. Right there? Mm-hmm. Out there. She's older. Mm-hmm. She's older. Yes. She sounds desperate. I know. That's why I call her Desperado. Y'all, that's the girlfriend. I call her Desperado. And I was talking to her one day, and she was she called me desperate. I'm desperate for my husband. For a nigga that I have three kids with. No, bitch. I'm mad. Bitch, I want to fight. But I'm not desperate. The fuck? If I was desperate, I would still be... No, it, it just... That don't work. That don't work. You can't throw that back at the wife. The wife can never be desperate. Or, let me say, the baby mama, the one with the kids, the one that's been with him, I'm not desperate, bitch. I was in love. I was actually with the man. <laughs> she threw that shit back at me. I was like, oh, okay. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> I didn't know I was desperate. <laughs> for a man I've been with for eight years. Thank you for telling me. And you've known him for how long? Like eight months or something? Oh, that's cute. That's really cute, sis. And not even eight whole months. You know him like on and off. Like really, you guys only really known each other for like three months. Like only been around each other like three months. But I'll be the desperate one, sure. I'll be the desperate one that hands him over to you on a silver platter, bitch. You can have them. Whew. You can have them. I'm trying to be Liv Selman. <laughs> Bitch, you're so funny. I feel bad for her. Bitch, don't feel bad for her. Do not feel bad for her. She play with fire, bitch, and that's what the fuck she got. She finna get burned, bitch. She already got burned. She already got burned, and she still took him back. So, what the fuck? It's desperate bitches like that that's the problem with this world, okay? The bottom of the barrel bitches, like when you and your nigga have problems, the bitches that are right there, uh, the pick me bitch, pick me, I'll do anything for you. I'll pay your rent. I'll pay your rent. I'll take care of your kids. I'll give you money, nigga. I'll do whatever I gotta do. Pick me. That type of bitch. Is that the one that kept wanting to call me? Call me? Mm -mm. I was calling that bitch. No. That's another thing. If you're going to be a side bitch, aren't you, like, rowdy? Like, I feel like I've never been a side bitch, so I don't know. But, like, I would think... Um, like, 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 side bitches are ratchet. Like... And they're like, you know, they're about that life. Like, if you're going to fuck with somebody's man, you have to be about that life. Because anything can come at you. Bitch, I can come to your house shooting. I can come pop your tires. I can come to your job. Once you're fucking with my man, bitch, anything, anything can happen. But she's not like that. She's very much scared. She's very much don't want to answer the phone and, like, texting me paragraphs and... You know, bitch, answer the phone. Ain't nobody finna sit here and read this fucking paragraph, bitch. The fuck? I want to speak to you, ho. The fuck you scared of? <laughs> and I'm not trying to even sit here. I know somebody's going to take it. Uh, why is she blaming the girl? I'm not just blaming her. It's 100% his fault. 100% his fault. But I'm just saying, bitch, if you're going to fuck with somebody's husband... You better be about that life, okay? Because I know, ooh, I know a lot. I know too much at this point. But I don't care no more. That's the thing. I don't care anymore. Trust me, y'all. If I cared, bitch, I, I know I've got addresses. I got phone numbers. I got car plates. I got, like, I have all the information that I need. But I don't care no more. I don't care. Didn't I cheat too? Yeah, back in the day. Mm -hmm. Way back in the day. Like when we were boyfriend, girlfriend before I had. Back in the day. Mm -hmm. But 
No, we're not even gonna get into that. <laughs> y'all gonna keep y'all gonna run with that shit if I talk about him. I'm not even gonna talk about him. Liv got receipts. Oh, baby, I got receipts. I'm just waiting to go to court. Okay, bitch, I got receipts. So, you know, I know what it is. I know that, and I don't care. People wanna, people have been uh, threatening me that he's gonna get on YouTube and talk about shit. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. That's the last little string of any type of respect that I have for my ex as a man and as the father of my kids. If he gets on this motherfucker and talks about me, oh. You're just proving the bitch that you are. That's all you're doing. No, I really don't give a fuck. I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> if I gave a fuck, I wouldn't be on here talking the shit that I'm talking. Trust me. <laughs> Liv got receipts for days. <laughs> He's going to get his side piece the same. What does it say? Ew, all of you guys telling me I give a fuck and I this, I that, I this, I that. I don't, okay. You, what's your point? If I do give a fuck, what's your point? You feel better about yourself because you think I give a fuck? <laughs> you guys are lame. You guys are weirdos. Oh my God, and this bitch Hollywood uncut, bitch, you're so lame. You're like a whole weirdo. I'm telling you, that's the type of bitches I'm talking about. These bitches are weirdos. Just a hoe granny with her lip pierced. And bitch, you're a hoe weirdo. Go away. <laughs> Go away, honey. No, you no, you can't pay for an interview, bitch. She was trying to pay me for an interview, bitch. I, you cannot interview me, bitch. This is my life. And who the fuck are you? The fuck? Take that goddamn lip ring out. The fuck? Got me fucked up. I want to pay me for an interview. What you gonna pay me? Twenty five dollars? <laughs> you don't look like y'all make my bank. I'm just playing. Let me stop. <laughs> and I don't care. Y'all can give him twenty five dollars for an interview. Go ahead. Let him talk and swack and swack and swack. Cause baby, they wouldn't even know who the fuck you were if it wasn't for me. And that's on period. So I don't care. He's so irrelevant. I know I'm sitting here talking about him, but it's because y'all asking me. And it's fun. Y'all don't even know, man. I got stories and stories and stories on this man. Like, so much shit I held back because I felt some type of way. I didn't want to make him look like the piece of shit that he is. But I don't give a fuck no more. Like, I don't care how dirty he's done me. Like, I want to tell, I want to tell these story times. Like, I don't give a fuck. He gonna be bad because he he don't like like when I recorded his ass with the prostitute thing he got so mad he was like I can't even trust you anymore nigga how does it feel how does it feel to not be able to trust the bitch you've been laying with for eight fucking years how does it feel my nigga you need a little bit of that medicine how about that. And the only reason I recorded him is because he's a narcissist he'll say something. And then when I bring it up later, if I never recorded him, you guys, let me tell you something. If I never recorded him with that prostitute situation, to this day, he would tell me, I didn't talk to a prostitute. I didn't do that. Olivia, you're crazy. You imagine that shit. You didn't see that in my phone. Like, he would make me feel like I was crazy. So, yeah, I started recording him. And I have a lot of recordings. So, don't fuck with me. She said, yeah, let's pray. <laughs> Nah, y'all, I'm straight. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> That's gaslighting. I know. I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Narcissist. Dude, narcissist will keep you crazy. Will make you crazy. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Narcissists will make you crazy. I'm telling you, it's the silent killer, y'all. It's the silent. It's so silent because you don't even know 
that the abuse is happening until you get out and you can actually look at look at it from a different perspective and you can clear your head because when you are actually being abused by a narcissist they have you so fucked up in the head you don't think so you think that everything you're fucking losing your shit and that's how i felt for so long and then another way you feel and i'm gonna cry because y'all i want to I wanted, I wanted to not be here anymore. And I, I could say that, okay? I could say that because I don't fucking feel like that anymore. And when I did feel like that, I didn't understand why. Like, a person like that will make you feel like if you're not good enough for them, you're not good enough for nothing. Nothing. And I was always a confident bitch. I always had high self-esteem. I've always been a big bitch. Well, not always, not always had high self-esteem because I didn't when I was younger. But when I met him, I was very confident in myself and I loved myself and everything. But fuck with him, bitch. It's like false confidence that, that they implant in your head. and ugh. It's just you feel so just fucked up in the head. And that's, girl, that was just the greatest gift having him removed out of my life and he's still the same way he's still the same way and he's doing it to this new girl and that ain't my business that ain't my business bitch that ain't my business okay you reap what you sow okay that's all i gotta say <clears throat> hey you want to give me a water yeah go give me a water by the door. Go give me a water. Yeah. Right there. You scared? You scared? Oh, she's like, I'm scared. I'd rather be alone than lonely with a narcissist. Amen. Amen. Damn, I can relate. Shit is sad. I'm literally going through the same shit. I feel sorry for his new... I don't, bitch. I don't feel sorry. Because you can't... F you look, I don't care if, if you and your husband are on the last strand of your marriage. You as a woman, and that's what we also need to normalize. And I feel like a lot of women don't really do this. Well, at least no... Mm. A lot of women don't do this. But um, you should never... Never <laughs> fuck with a married person. You just shouldn't do it. You shouldn't do it. You shouldn't put yourself in that situation. Now, if you're separated and you guys have both agreed to go your separate ways, then I mean, whatever. Do whatever you got to do until you get your divorce. But that's not the same thing if one person wants out and the other person's still trying or vice versa or somebody's trying today and not tomorrow and it's like no 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 that's still a whole relationship that's still a whole situation going on like don't ever include yourself in that and this bitch is old enough like i said she's older than me she's older than him she knows better but or maybe she doesn't obviously her mama her mama raised the hoe so i don't fucking know but i know that my fucking mama taught me better than that so that's just not, that's not a bitch that's going to be around my kids, around my daughters. Oh, you got me fucked up. And she might not understand that. And his dumbass might not understand that. But that's a woman that will never have no type of influence on my fucking kids. Ever. Nah. Mm -mm. You want to fuck up, homie? Go ahead, fuck up. Go ahead. Do whatever you want to do. But you ain't going to do that shit around my kids. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Oh my god. Mommy. What? Let's open the door. Open the door? Nobody's knocking, baby. I think people are going up the stairs. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> 
Yeah, look out the window. Can you look out the window right there? What you scared of? Ryan, ain't nothing going to happen to you, baby. I promise, okay? I promise you. I think somebody's moving. Or they're moving out or something. She talks so clear, yeah. Um, Vlogmas. I'm going to try to do Vlogmas. I'm going to try very hard, you guys. <laughs> Ryan's so smart. Yeah, she is. She really, really is, my baby. What'd that say? What'd that say? These lives make him feel so good about himself. Girl, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. If it does or if it doesn't. And if it does... Okay. What the fuck? He's still a piece of shit. What the fuck? Still a piece of shit? I don't care how you slice it. They shouldn't. He should be embarrassed. I don't know. I, I can't tell you guys how he feels or anything because I don't talk to him. I don't speak to him, so I don't know. You have to understand, you both are going crazy. You need to pray. I'm not going crazy. I'm not. I'm, I'm sorry. This is like the first time in a very long time where I see very clearly. I see very, very fucking clearly. But it still i still got my i still got my anger issues bitch okay i still you know i'm quick to cuss a bitch out so i'm still it makes me angry the way that he's treating my kids but crazy nah mm -mm. crazy was like two months ago mommy crazy i love your personality thank you baby you lucked out, Liv. Oh, girl, I know. I know I lucked out, sis. I know. That's what I've been trying to tell y'all. That's why I'm straight. People think I give a fuck. I don't. I'm so blessed. And God really has been blessing me. And I'm going to cry because even though it's so hard, I feel like he is preparing me for something great. Um, But he's fuck any other person and i know i need to stop cussing because <laughs> it's not appropriate when i'm speaking about god but forget any other man any other anybody i know that i'm gonna be good and my babies are gonna be good because god has us you guys don't understand like this whole process of moving getting this place everything has been smooth and it's been like that because of god like he's been having my back he's had my back more than anybody in this whole situation okay so i don't care i just pray to him i pray to him i would say do you worry he could physically hurt your babies no no, mm -mm. I'm not going to say that about him. He will not physically, intentionally hurt them. No, no. Mm -mm. But drinking and driving and, you know, Robin told me. Robin was like, Mommy, I don't like when Daddy drinks and drives. And, you know, Robin is like that because my mom instills that in my head She's always talking about it. Whenever I go out somewhere, don't drink and drive. And she says it in front of the kids. Robin tells me, oh, daddy was driving and he had a beer in his, in his center council. That shit's not okay with me. That's not okay with me. Don't do that. Don't do that. Now, is he intentionally trying to hurt them? No. But he's so fucking dumb. He doesn't think about it. He's not. Re this is the thing. His responsibility level is like this. Okay? Like this. No, I'm not even gonna give him that much, bitch. I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give him, hold on. I'm gonna give him that much. You see this little, right there. That's his fucking responsibility level. Cause he doesn't have shit. And not that he doesn't have shit because of me. Not like he doesn't have shit because he's been moving around a lot. I don't wanna hear that bullshit. Cause I've been moving around a lot too. Okay? And I've been paying most of the fucking bills. He doesn't have shit because he doesn't want for shit. He can't take care of shit. So, 
when it comes to the kids, his responsibility is just super low. And I, I got that, but it's like, still don't fuck with, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just wait till you get to your destination, then drink, have some drinks, sober up, then drive. You feel me? But don't drink and drive. What the fuck? That's some shit. He was doing that shit when I met him, bro. It's eight years later. Grow the fuck up. At some point, just change change a little couple things about you. You know what I mean? Mature in some ways, you know. Somebody's talking about get professional help. Bitch, I'm good. I'm good. I'm venting. And I'm also, I feel like I'm giving good advice. Okay? To anybody else who might be going through it. Somebody said the D ain't worth it. I don't think it is. Ew. That's disgusting. Somebody's, oh my god, some people are so stupid. Vent girl, it's your channel. Girl, I know. I know. But thank you, baby. Thank you, Megan. The woman goes as far as the man wants. My grandma always said that, said that shame on her because she's destroying a family. Mm, yeah. False confidence. Yes, girl. He's block. He was blocking your blessings.